Hello and welcome to Health Professional Radio. I'm your host, Neil Howard. Thank you so much for joining us for another segment. We're going to be speaking with Dr. Catherine Bornbaum. She's joining us here as Head of Clinical Operations and Partnerships at Retrospect. She's going to talk about using hyperspectral retinal imaging and artificial intelligence to diagnose Alzheimer's before the onset of symptoms. Welcome to Health Professional Radio. Dr. Bornbaum, thank you for joining us. Thank you for having me. Has your interest been in Alzheimer's always since uh, since you pursued uh, medicine? Uh, great question. Thank you. Um, so I've, I've always been interested in how the body works. Uh, I actually started my career in head and neck oncology, so within the region, but uh, not quite in neuro. Um, but I, I did expand into the area when I came to understand and appreciate just how significant the challenge of Alzheimer's disease is. So it's, it's a problem I became fascinated by and um, one that I'm, I'm dedicated towards uh, helping to solve. How is Alzheimer's different significantly from other forms of dementia? So Alzheimer's disease uh, is one of many different types of dementias, as you've uh, mentioned. Um, one of the key hallmarks of Alzheimer's disease is that it's characterized by two uh, key pathologies. So these are amyloid beta and tau pathology. So uh, dementias have a variety of different presentations and symptoms, um, but the Alzheimer's disease itself is one of the most significant types of dementia in terms of prevalence or how um, common it is in the general population. Um, and the interesting thing about it is that because it has these two signature proteins, um, we have an opportunity to identify it uh, using different types of diagnostics. Mm -hmm. Now, we're going to talk about uh, diagnosing before the onset of symptoms. You talked about it being extremely prevalent. Um, what are some of the symptoms that we're trying to look for? Sure, it's a great question. So when Alzheimer's disease reaches the symptomatic stage, there are a number of symptoms that um, are commonly known. So things like having uh, memory concerns, difficulty finding words, perhaps misplacing Thing, common things like putting your keys in the, you know, the freezer or something like that. Um, but we actually have learned that the disease starts much, much earlier than before the symptoms begin. So there's some evidence to suggest that the proteins um, that are the earliest detectable signs of disease actually begin to accumulate up to 20 years before anyone begins to mm. experience any of those sort of memory concerns um, or other symptoms. At Retrospect, you're talking about using hyperspectral retinal imaging and AI to diagnose Alzheimer's before the onset of symptoms. Talk about this type of diagnostic uh, procedure. Sure. So uh, Retrospect's hyperspectral imaging technology um, is essentially a little camera accessory that attaches to existing optometry equipment. So this is the type of camera that you find in your eye doctor's office. Mm -hmm. And how it works is essentially it provides us an an extra data-rich image that we can use to detect disease biomarkers through the eye in a non-invasive way. So from the, the patient's experience, it feels just like going to your eye doctor and having um, an image taken as you would at your regular checkup. But because of that hyperspectral camera accessory that we attach on top, we can gather enough information to identify the biologic signatures of Alzheimer's disease years before the symptom onset. Does the condition or any diseases in the eye prior to this spectral imaging, is that taken into consideration? Does it nullify the test? Are there certain situations where this is not indicated? That's a great question. So there are some circumstances where the technology um, isn't appropriate. Mm -hmm. So if someone has very advanced cataracts um, to the point that they would probably require surgery to replace the lens, then the technology doesn't work. We can't get enough light into the eye in order to acquire an image. But if someone just has sort of mild or moderate cataracts uh, where they're able to function and, and see perfectly fine or see reasonably well, um, then it's fine. So there, there are limits to the technology, but um, we're able to operate with uh, a wide, wide variety of different eye conditions. Does integrating this system into existing systems at the optometrist add any additional expense on the patient's end or on the practitioner's? That's a great question. So um, right now we're looking at different uh, potential models for how to cover this. Mm -hmm. uh, so our understanding is that there is a code um, um, that we'd be able to use that clinicians could use for reimbursement purposes. Um, and then the other option is certainly to, to pay out of pocket if required. 
Um, the good news is that this technology, because it's it's AI driven and we don't require any optometrist to buy an expensive camera or something like that, um, it's very, very cost effective. It's essentially the price of us sort of running running the, the cloud to, to communicate the report back. So we can do it in a really, really cost effective way. How often should this imaging be done? Uh, you, you talked about things developing 20 years before symptoms present. Uh, is this something that is recommended on a periodic basis after a certain age? Yeah, absolutely. So our trials right now begin at age 40 in some instances. So that's where we're really sort of looking to begin this assessment. Um, and generally speaking, we believe that this could be an appropriate uh, assessment to be incorporated into an annual eye exam. Well, is there anything that you'd like to add for us? Um, just to, to convey that I think it's a really exciting time in the Alzheimer's disease space. Um, you know, we we this past year or in 2021, had the first drug approved by the FDA um, that's a disease-modifying drug, and there are several other exciting therapeutics in the pipeline. So I think we have great reason for hope and optimism in this field, and with this brings the need for health system preparedness and ensuring that we have the appropriate diagnostics and tools to equip practitioners to deal with the, the significant demand that's coming. Well, if you would, give us a website where our listeners can learn more. Sure, of course. Um, so they can learn more at readyspec.com. That's R-E-T-I-S-P-E-C.com. Well, I appreciate you taking time out of your day to uh, spend some time with us this morning. Thank you so much, Dr. Bornbaum. Thank you. You've been listening to Health Professional Radio. I'm your host, Neil Howard, in conversation with Dr. Catherine Bornbaum. She is joining us here from Redispec, talking about using hyperspectral retinal imaging and artificial intelligence to diagnose Alzheimer's disease before the onset of symptoms. Audio copies of this program are available at hpr.fm and healthprofessionalradio.com.au. You can also subscribe to the podcast on iTunes, listen in, download a SoundCloud, and be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com, Health Professional Radio.